All right, guys. So in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make a med kit in Roblox Studio or any type of healing item, basically. So as you guys can see, I already have a model, which is um, a simple med kit. And what you guys must remember when making your model with multiple parts is to add well constraints. So what I mean by this is, as you can see here, let me just expand my explore tab a bit. I have something called a wall constraint here. This basically keeps two parts together. So you can see that this, the handle is welded to the kit, the kit base. And I have the same done for the plus here, cross. So that will keep the parts from falling apart when your character holds them. So that's basically what you guys need to know for how to make a tool. I'll make a more in-depth video later. So for now, what you guys want to do is you guys want to go to your tool and add in a script. So once you guys have that, just delete the hello world and then create the event. So game, actually no, we can do script.parent. Yeah, script.parent, the activated because we want the tool to only heal you when you're activated, basically when you click it. So activated colon connect function and there are no parameters for this basically we don't have to enter anything in these brackets here so we're just gonna click enter so now we have to do local because we want to make it easier for us to identify the medkit itself so medkit equals to script dot parent and now we have to identify the character so local local character or just char equals to make it dot parent so it's quite simple so now this is going to be the part where we heal the character or the humanoid so char dot humanoid dot humanoid dot humanoid equals to human dot health we have to do dot health all right guys so yeah dot health equals to char.humanoid.health and now we're going to set how much you want to add the health by so in this case I'm going to just put by about 15 or so and since our character will spawn in like with full health we won't really be able to tell so what we're going to do is we're just going to do print and then we're going to put in the brackets um, player heal yeah player heal so yeah so basically, uh, you guys can also make this part uh, using variables. You can make the character humanoid health into a variable yourself if you want. But I'm just going to do it this way. So now I'm going to press play and we'll see what happens. So now we're loading into the game. So wait for it to load. Okay, and we should load it in. So now we're gonna walk on over here and uh, now when we click it, we can see that it says player healed. So we can just try that again and uh, so on and so forth. So guys, that's quite simple, but we want to test whether it will actually heal us. For now, all we see is that it's printing it. Although, but you know, we know that it would probably work because it wouldn't be able to go to the next line if the line before that did not work. So we're just gonna try that with a simple drilling zombie over here. So uh, if it says this, just click OK. But if but uh, just a warning, if you guys ever do use free models that aren't verified, always remember to check the scripts for anything that looks suspicious, because otherwise your game could get hacked. Oh, 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 okay, yeah, I think we need to make it now. Okay, so as you can see, our health bar is actually going up. And we are actually healing. Come at me, zombie. I'm invincible. Alright, guys. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.